with it. Q and baby Jackson, the QT couple. Today we got a little DIY for you. We got an antiquated old thermostat. We about to upgrade with that nest, ain't we, G? <laughs> he like, whatever. So first, let's take a look at the old thermostat. So this is it right here. As you can see, very old. Jackson's point, he's like, what is that? What is that? So we're gonna replace this right here with a brand new third generation Nest thermostat. So let's go ahead and get that out of the box. All right, here we got our Nest thermostat. Learning thermostat, dope look, twistable, and I believe you can touch it as well. Nest saves energy, period. I know it's blown out, but that's what it say. That's the goal, man, we're gonna see. Programs itself, then pays for itself, so. Let's go ahead, open it up, see what's going on inside. All right, so inside, got a few screws for you. Got a very, what'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say? Got a very nice little flathead that comes with it. You got a mounting plate right here. You don't have to install it if you don't want to. And here's a back plate for it. Also, you don't have to install this if you don't want to, but I'll probably put it up there so it'll have a nice aesthetic. Then we got the wiring harness. Turn off the power to the heating and cooling systems before installing. Best believe we're gonna do that. There it is right there, so it's nice and color-coded for you. We press the buttons and lock it down. That's real nice. Then we got the nest unit itself. So there it is, cover look kind of crazy. But that's it, that's it. Wipe that dust off, and twist it like that and you can press it in as well. So let's go ahead and turn off the power, take out the old unit, and then we're gonna put this bad boy in there. All right, so step one, we're gonna turn off the power over here. Got our units labeled right here. I'm gonna do that. Thermostat, if I'm not mistaken, has a battery in it. So I'm gonna turn this off first. Then I'm gonna turn the thermostat up or down. I'm probably just turn it down because that's the actual AC itself. I'm gonna turn it down and see if anything cuts on. If nothing cuts on, then in my mind, I believe that should indicate that we are now working with dead wires that don't have any power going through them. So let's try it and see. All right, here we go looking at the old unit. Let me turn this down. And nada. All right, so it should be as simple as pulling this thing off. Boom, easy, old one. And right there you see you got your labels. With the Nest thermostat, it comes with labels for the wires, so I'm gonna put those labels on the wires. We gotta be careful to make sure that when I take this off and unscrew it, that those wires don't go in the wall. Cause if they go in the wall, you gonna have some trouble getting them back out more than likely, so. I'm gonna get the labels, put them on there, then I'm gonna take this unit off, and then we could go ahead and wire up the nest and get to work. All right, I wanted to note this as well. As you go through the installation guide for the nest on this page right here, this is why you probably shouldn't skip instructions, at least as far as this is concerned, unless you just got it like that. It got the actual labels in here for you. So these are the labels that I was just talking about. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna put them on the wires on our old unit. So let's do that. All right, so I got my labels put on here. This one's G, I put that one on there. Very bad, but that's for the fan. Then you got Y1, you may have a Y2. That is for cooling. You got W1 right here, that's for heating. You may have a W1, 2, or 3. And then there's RH, and RH is a power. That's your actual power core right there. And as you can see right here, we have a jumper between RC and RH. They're both for power. Your uh, thermostat may have this, but the Nest notes that if you do have a jumper between these two channels, that you don't need them. So we're gonna take that jumper out and then we can start wiring up the base plate for the Nest. All right, now we're gonna use a flathead that they gave us. It fits perfectly. It should be fairly standard, so it should fit in there, but it may or may not fit in yours, so be prepared for that. But just like that, we slip it out. No worries, no issues at all. As I get sprayed by the air freshener. Take that out. And the jumper, we ain't really gotta remove, remove, remove since we're gonna be uh, doing the whole thing. I'm sorry that my angle ain't looking the greatest right here, but like I said, it's kinda hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Boom. Boom. 
That's it. Now, I kind of got them hanging in the air. You probably don't want to do that. You don't want anything to be touching. But I'm gonna get a bigger flathead because I don't think this one's gonna be able to do this properly. Let me see if I could make it work. Nah, ain't even about to mess it up. So let me get a bigger flathead, take this off. And when we come back, we're gonna be wiring up the Nest base plate. All right, here we go, we took it off. Now initially, I wasn't gonna install the uh, optional base plate, but as you can see here, it's a clear square from that. And the piece by itself isn't gonna cover all that up. So I'm just gonna slide this right through here like so and then boom now unfortunately the holes the holes that's already in there won't fit so i'm just gonna have to drill some more new holes but that's where the mount's gonna be so after that we're gonna go ahead and put on our back plate for the nest wire it up and get that thing powered up all right i was about to drill this all the way in then i decided to stop and let y'all see what's going on there is a leveler right here on the actual uh back plate so all you gotta do is just line that up, make sure the bubble's in the middle, and once you got it lined up, go ahead and drill all the way in. That way you know your plate's gonna be even all the way. So this plate itself, the back plate, does not have a level on it. So that's why I'm just doing it all at one time. I mean, that's how you would do it anyway. But just letting you know, in case you try to screw this on, then it be crooked and you put this on and then be out back by the time you're done. All right, so we got the plate in. And what's also super nice about the Nest installation is it has push tabs. So all you gotta do is push it in, push a wire in. Now, as you see here, I got some excess wire, so I might have to properly trim it down, and then that way we'll be able to go in smooth. I would just push the whole joint back in there, but I see a couple of extra wires in here, and I don't want to lose those guys. So I'm gonna just trim off these super long wires, and then we'll plug up the unit and fire it up. All right, now we had our last step. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Boy, I need to clean this thing off first. But you got the back right here. That's where you connect in right there. And then this USB, I'm guessing that's for updates. If I had to assume anything, that's for updates for the unit. So let's see if we can plug this thing in and make it work. It ain't feel like a good clip. Ugh. All right. So I got it in there. Press it up. That's what we're looking like. Let me turn down the brightness. I got it going crazy. So there's the unit. All plugged up. Nice and clean. So let me turn the power back on and see what we got going on. Alright, so walking back up here. Hopefully we go up here and see that it's on, man. Hopefully she's alive and breathing. And breathing well. Here we go. Here we go. And she's alive. She's alive. All right, I just see a home screen. I don't know if it got to initiate. I don't know what it got to do. I'll be honest with you. I probably need to look at the uh, <laughs> setup guide now, but it looks like we got power. It says home. And we need to figure out how to, oh, there it is. All right, English US. Okay, so you just select by pressing. It's not really a touch screen. You just scroll to what you want and you could uh, select from there. So, internet. This is where you can set, set it up to the Wi-Fi. So, I'm gonna cut past this, of course. Before I put it in my password, I just wanted y'all to see this. This is real dope, the way you can select around. And there's a little speaker on it because I can hear sound coming out of it. All right, we're trying to connect now to the internet. It's online, baby. Check it for a software update. Okay? No, so it already got an update. So now that, I ain't even gonna lie, that makes me second guess the uh, USB on the back. I guess that's if you ain't got uh, the Wi-Fi connector or if you don't want it, want it connected to the Wi-Fi. Like the update actually going pretty fast. Download complete. Updating the thermostat. So I'm gonna cut after this, but a moment of truth is gonna be actually trying to turn this air on, dog. Furthermore, upon uh, setup, it does detect where you got all your wires set up, and that's exactly what I got plugged in. Continue. Heating, cooling, and a fan. That is correct. That is so dope, man. It detects all that. Electric, gas, oil, propane. I don't know. It's electric. What type of heating do you have? We got forced air, if I'm not mistaken. So now we go to the temperature. 
Should next begin by heating or cooling your home? Uh oh. All right, so the fan came on just fine. No cold air, just fan. Turned off? Yes, it has. Now let's do heating. It's already hot, but. Yep, I can tell by the way it clicked. And our furnace is right above us in the attic over there. All right. All right, so I hit the air. That looks to be copacetic as well. All right, so I set up this complete. You see right now, it says it's 80 currently upstairs. 80! Can't have that. And you can press if you really want to heat. Or you can do like that. It tells you when it's going to start. So if you don't press it to start right now, it's going to start in two minutes. So let's put it on 73. Pressed it. It says it's 61 outside. Today is Thursday, 7.26 p.m. 33% precipitation. Oh, we'll tell you everything, don't it? But there it is, man. I'm not necessarily going to go through all the settings because I don't even know them yet, but the installation was a success. Yay. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. T, come check it out. What you think? They go T right there. Okay, I'll see you. Okay. I'll Touch it though. Twist, twist that thing one time for him. Ooh. Ooh. I barely touched it. It's smooth, ain't it? Ooh, I barely touched that thing. You know, 73. Yeah, 73. Give you a little countdown though. Ooh, that's nice. And everything. <laughs> and everything. So, all right, now we're trying some of the phone capabilities. Let's go ahead and see if we can start the fan from here. And I hope y'all can hear it, but it did come on. No problem, no issue, very responsive. Let's click stop. All right, so another test for the Nest. I got it on wake up on approach, so it should come on as I walk over here to it and get closer. So let's check that out. Oh, that's too dope. So you walk in front of it, it'll cut on automatically. There it is, man. The Nest successfully installed. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Here comes the old joint. Uh, right here. Look at look at that. <laughs> Why still on it? Now look at that. Because it got batteries in here. Oh. <laughs> so look at that. And look at that. Ooh. Upgraded. But hey man. Thank you for watching. In case you're thinking about getting one of these, go ahead and get it. You see it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Might as well try it out. For yourself. But this is being Q of the QT couple. And T gives it the okay. Yeah. Baby Jax was working so hard that he said, you know what, I gotta take a nap. So <laughs> he's taking a nap right now. And it's been real. Until next time. Peace.